Greetings, cocktail aficionados. It's John Moser with another edition of Cocktails Out of Quarantine. You see, I've got my awesome cocktail shirt, a gift from my wife, Monica. Love you, darling, and I love this shirt. And today, the, the cocktail I wanna focus on is called the Cobra's Fang. It is uh, a, a tiki drink, right? Think of it up there with classics like uh, the zombie, the Mai Tai, the Blue Hawaii, etc. cetera. Uh, this one is a little bit less well-known than those others. It was invented by uh, Don Beach, AKA Don the Beachcomber, who was really one of the founding fathers of the tiki movement in, uh, in post-World War II America. The other one, of course, being Victor Bergeron, AKA Trader Vic. So Don the Beachcomber and Trader Vic were like the, 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 the gods, the tiki gods. And between them, they designed so many great cocktails that we still drink today. The Cobra's Fang is very much in that same tradition. You've got the citrus, uh, you've, got the, you've got the rum, it's a blender drink. Uh, it's, it's delicious, I can't say enough good things about it. And I'm gonna show you how to make it, but first, I'm gonna show you what you're going to need in order to make it. To make the Cobra's Fang, you're gonna need rum. It's a rum forward drink. First of all, we've got uh, this uh, uh, darker Jamaican rum, uh, Appleton Estate, I highly recommend. And then 151 proof rum, uh, fortunately not much. There's just you know, not, only about a half an ounce of, uh, half an ounce of each. So, uh, but the fact that it's 151 means it's gonna be a pretty potent drink, even with just, uh, with, with just that little bit. Um, the citrus, we're gonna have some lime juice and some, and some orange juice. Small amounts, again, only half an ounce of each. Velvet Falernum, not a, uh, something that, that is the easiest to find. I was able to get some here. I think you can, you can order it from Amazon because it's not terribly alcoholic. It's 11% by volume. Uh, it is it's sort of a lime and clove flavored syrup to it. Um, very tasty. Not a lot of drinks call for it, but this one does. Now, I had to do some substituting for this drink because the original recipe calls for something called fascinola syrup, which is a mix of, uh, of hibiscus and pomegranate and passion fruit and a bunch of other things. And I simply can't find it. I, I can't even order it from somewhere. So as a substitute, I got this BG Reynolds Lush Grenadine Tropical Syrup. Uh, it's the flavor of pomegranate and hibiscus. So this is actually going to substitute for two things in the original recipe. One is the fascinol syrup. The recipe also calls for grenadine. And of course, this is grenadine. So this is going to pull double duty for this, uh, for this recipe. And then absinthe. Just a dash of absinthe. You don't want to use a whole lot because that can just totally overpower the drink. Anyone who's had absinthe knows what I'm talking about here. And finally, Angostura bitters. And you're going to be mixing that with a bunch of ice and garnishing with a lime wheel and a sprig of and a sprig of mint. So these are the things you're going to need to make this drink. Now I'm going to show you how to. Okay, make it. because this is a blender drink, I'm using uh, my Nutra Bullet, which I normally only use for fruit smoothies, but it works perfectly well for this purpose. I'm going to give, uh, put in first of all a half an ounce. We're not going to add the, the ice yet. We're going to hit it with the ice just before we blend. A half an ounce of the Jamaican rum and a half an ounce of the 151. Whew, that's potent. I think this is mostly used for setting stuff on fire. <laughs> We get a half an ounce of our falernum. Mm, that's, a, that's a nice smelling liqueur. There we go. And then a half ounce each of lime juice and orange juice. Let's see how much we actually get out of these are little limes. Uh, half of that got us about a quarter ounce. So, unsurprisingly, we get to a half ounce for the whole one. And we do the same with these little uh, clementine oranges. 
which are probably a little sweeter than the original recipe would have called for, but I don't think that's a bad thing. There we go. One of those got us a half of an ounce. Now, the fascianola syrup, or the substitute, substitute for the fascianola syrup and the grenadine, we are gonna use a half an ounce of this lush grenadine. There we go. That's gonna give this a nice color as well. Uh, we're going to add a dash of the absinthe. Now what I've done here is you can't really do a dash with this thing. So I put it in this little uh, eyedropper bottle and I'm just gonna put in two eyedroppers full of the absinthe. That ought to be plenty. There you go, come over here. And then finally, a dash of Angostura. The next thing we need to do then is to add the ice and then we're gonna blend it. So here we have our mixture of liquor and uh, juices and whatnot. We are going to add six to eight ounces of, uh, of, of ice. And then I'm going to seal this up. And we run it through a cycle on the neutral bullet. You don't really need to watch all of this. It's kind of boring. It's just finishing up. Man, I say it's finished. I think we've got a good texture here. Open her up. Pour that right into, ooh, I'm afraid this is gonna make a mess. Hold on, you deserve to see this go in. The spoon will help guide it into a highball glass. Most of it anyway. There we go. Now we'll put in there a lime wheel and a mint sprig. Ah, isn't that lovely? This, ladies and gentlemen, is the Cobra's Fang, a delightful tiki drink. Let's give it a taste. Oh, that's so good. Check it out on a hot day, any summer day, ah, any time of year. Tiki drinks are wonderful. I only wish I had a tiki glass for it, but this is gonna have to do. So I hope you're having a great day. Until next time, cheers.